Come quick, I need you. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's Wednesday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. If you watched last week, you know that I ended it on Monday because it was Bank Holiday Monday. Um, this morning I've just been doing some orders for the store because um, it was our first birthday on Monday. So we had a little bit of a discount code for people and everybody loved it. And we've nearly sold out of a lot of things. So in fact, we did actually sell out of quite a lot of things. So I placed an order this morning, both for Stylecraft and for um, Karen, like Karen Cakes, Simply Soft, Bernat. Basically just had a really big fill up of all the things that we were really low or out of stock of. Um, I am currently just getting ready to go out and have my hair done. My hair's growing super, super fast. Probably could have had another week out of it, to be honest. Um, I booked for six weeks the last time just because I thought my hair's growing so quickly so this time I might go for seven weeks just to pad it out back a bit I'll see where it falls um, I'm taking a book with me I was going to take my laptop so that I could edit this week's vlog which will go live tonight but I'll do that when I get home um, just because I want to be able to read a bit and get a bit inspired and things like that so yes that's what I'm going to do. Um, take my book. I'm still reading She Means Business. I'm kind of dipping in and out, in and out of it. Um, if you are watching it as well. Oh God. There's a balloon in my kitchen. <laughs> and just out of the corner of my eye. It was like almost poking around the corner. I thought it was somebody in the kitchen. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> anyway, where was I? If you are reading um, She Means Business as well. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I just really want to get super focused on the business and where I'm going with it and different things like that, especially now the baby's coming, I really need to have a plan in place. Um, so yes, I also need to think about the fact that my hair is at 12 o'clock, which is dinner time. Why, past me, did you decide to book your hair at 12 o'clock? What a ridiculous time. Ugh. so anyway I'm gonna pop it's quarter past 11 now so I might sort of um, pop to my favorite place Greg's not sponsored <laughs> I don't know why I always have to say that it's not even funny anyway I'm gonna pop to my favorite place to get a sandwich um, and then I can take that to the hairdressers with me so I can sit and eat that while I'm there because otherwise I'll be super super hungry it'll be like three o'clock by the time that I've done and that's not good so Anthony is not at work today but he has gone to golf he booked a couple of days off work after the bank holiday and um, he went and went to golf early this morning which probably did me a favor because it meant that I could get the work that I needed to do done oh my stomach's grumbling already um, and then he'll be back this afternoon so we'll probably end up going food shopping the joys leads such a glamorous life <laughs> um, so yes rambling again as usual lip update still dry not as bad as they have been though um, so yeah see you later hello everybody happy Friday it's currently just gone 12 o'clock um, I have been working on a job this morning which I'm doing with Neutrogena um, so I finished that off and got it sent um, to the PR company um, and then I've been doing a tutorial for the octopus which has taken like two and a half hours to film I'm currently kind of in a slight rush because um, I'm meeting my mom and my grandma at um, trial garden centre I think I'm going to find my flip flops out because they're super comfy um, trial garden centre so we're going to go for something to eat then this afternoon I actually need to pop to mother care just to sort something out with um, the furniture that I ordered so yes yeah, so I'm kind of like rushing around but I was really worried about that tutorial all week I thought it was going to take absolutely ages Although it took a couple of hours, I'm glad it's done. So um, all I have left to do is um, finish editing and all of that. Excuse me while I get all my bits and bobs together. So, yes, 
I'm off out to the garden centre. Um, I love garden centres, I've said this before. Uh, they're just so nice and relaxing. I think I need to take my glasses because I have a feeling I'm going to get a headache. So, yes, that's the plan. I'm going to have a nice afternoon, sort that thing out with mother care. Might also pop into, um, what's it called? I said this to my mum this morning. B&Q. Where are my glasses? Oh, they're there, next to my bed. Uh, pop into B&Q to start looking at some paint colours for the bedroom. If you saw my post on the blog about nursery decor, you'd know that I want to keep it fairly neutral um, but I would like to freshen up the walls so I'll go and find some nice paint so I shall see you in a little while everyone so I had just got home and um, it took me ages to get home I dropped my mum off um, after we went to mother care um, and B&Q and um, there was an accident at the end of her road which seemed really really bad um, there was like three cars involved but I actually think that um, two of the cars were racing each other which is really really bad but it's really scary because if we'd have been 15 minutes earlier we could have been caught up in that, but anywho, we can't think like that, can we? Um, and then on the way home, because there was a div diversion at the end of the road, then they were dropping a great big tree down on another road, so it took me ages. What should be like an eight minute journey took over half an hour. But anyway, I'm home. Went to B&Q and I found this really, really nice colour called White Rabbit. It's like... I don't know, it looks different colours in different lights. So I'm going to pop some on the wall and um, see what it looks like. I wasn't planning on going for pink. I was going to either going to go for like a mushroomy colour or a grey, like a really light grey. Either way, something with just a very like subtle hint of colour. But when I saw this, I thought it was quite warm um, and really nice. And I think it would go nice with the ivory furniture. So I'm going to grab a paintbrush and try a bit on the wall. So obviously this isn't dry yet, so it kind of looks a bit shiny, but you can see it's a really quite nice neutral pretty colour. Sometimes it looks pink, sometimes it looks grey, sometimes it looks mushroom. <laughs> but I think it's actually perfect for what I was looking for because I was looking for either a grey or a mushroom. So I think that might be a winner, and I'm actually liking it more as it dries as well. Fabulous! Good morning everybody, it is Saturday. Um, I have just got up and dressed, um, <clears throat> and then come into the spare room, because today's kind of a bit of a homey day. I've got a load of washing to do, I have really got to sort this room. Um, so we've got to decide whether we want a new carpet or not. I don't know whether we can get away with the dints in it from the old furniture, if I can try and get those out, but I just want to see what the room looks like completely bare. Um, absolutely loving this colour. You can't really see it very well. I almost shadows there, but... You can't really see it that well on camera, but it looks really, really cute. It's... I think I said yesterday, I never really wanted like a pink on the wall. But in some lights it looks pink, in some lights it looks more of a mushroomy colour. And I just think it's a really nice warm colour, it should be absolutely perfect. Um, so yes, think that one's a winner. First try, love it. Um, so yeah, I've got to sort out this room, sort out the spare room, do a load of washing today. Um, and then also I have to put the finishing touches to the pattern for the octopus. Um, tutorial that's going up tomorrow so yeah I'm gonna get cracking I need to get some breakfast because I'm a 
hungry this morning. 18 weeks today, the little one is, which is exciting. So in a couple of weeks, I'll be halfway through. Oh, um, yeah, I'll be glad once I get a bit more organized though. Okay, so I feel as if I'm not really making much progress in this room because let me show you what happens. So I start to clear the shelves and I make piles of things that need to go in particular places. But then I realise after about an hour, all I've done is made more piles in different places. So has any progress actually been made? <laughs> I get the feeling that if my mum was here, it would have been sorted in like 10 minutes. <laughs> mum, come quick, I need you. <laughs> Okay, a little bit more progress has been made. I've cleared this area. Granted, all the stuff was there, but what was there is now there. <laughs> but it's still progress. And also as well, I've decided, because this is going in the garage, I'm gonna nip out and get some boxes to go on here because some of the stuff can actually go in the garage, the stuff that's not gonna get damaged or anything. Um, so obviously not any of the yarn. But um, I've got like massive stacks, well stacks and stacks of all like past projects, like that is the elf um, hat tutorial, oh this is one that I still need to work on, this is so pretty, actually I sh shouldn't put that away, oops, shouldn't put that away because I do need to finish that, because um, I know a lot of people were absolutely loving that, and actually that would make a really nice little blanket for my baby girl. So yeah, I love that pattern. I called it the bubble stripe pattern. So yeah, I'll leave that out so that I can finish that off and make sure that the pattern's um, ready and things. But uh, yeah, boxes of past tutorials. It's a recent one and they're all like samples and things. So I'm gonna go out and get some boxes. I also need to take um, an ASOS order back because um, I ordered a couple of bits from ASOS and um, I don't like some of them, so I'm taking them back. So I'm gonna get some fresh air, take a little break, and then come back and finish off. Good evening, everybody. I have just finished up um, putting the blog post together for tomorrow morning. Um, the video is all set and ready. I've just got to publish it in the, in the morning so that everything can go together. Um, Anthony has gone out for his football uh, presentation evening. I'm staying in so I've kind of got the house to myself tonight um, and I'm going to have a rare evening of just sitting and doing nothing. Um, I'm going to watch Pretty Little Liars because for some reason I completely forgot to watch it earlier in the week so I'm going to put that on um, and then I might do a little bit of reading after that. Um, so I'm going to say Good night for this evening and I shall see you again tomorrow. Bye! Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. I am just about to leave the house to go up to my mum's but on the way I'm going to nip into the carpet store again because I went yesterday, I can't remember if I told you. Uh, but yeah, I nipped in um, to have a look at the carpets because after emptying the room, kind of made the decision that the carpet is just not going to look good with all the dints and stuff in. So, I have fully committed to getting a new carpet this morning because I cut some of mine up. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this down. Um, although I know that I'm not gonna get an exact match, it's just kind of playing with my mind slightly that um, the whole house has got the same carpet, apart from in the kitchen and the bathrooms, running all the way through. So it's kind of taken a little bit of mental preparation to get my head around the fact that it's going to be different in that room. I know this is completely irrational, but that's just the anxiety I have at the moment. And I'm kind of wanting to um, re-carpet the whole house. If I could afford to do that, I would. I've just said to my mum and Ian, if they did like 50 years free credit, I would totally do it. <laughs> So yes, I have cut up the carpet. It's definitely happening. I love new carpet smells. I'm gonna be in there forever. Um, 
and then I'm going to order it. Um, apparently it takes about 10 days um, and they come and fit it, which is really good. So yes, pop in there, um, just double check the carpet and then go up to my mum's. So the carpet is all ordered. I actually ended up going for a different colour in the end because when I took through the um, paint sample and then the carpet, the carpet just thought it looked a little bit too brown. Um, so I actually went for a colour in the end called silver, which sounds like it's going to be really light, but it's actually like a mid grey. So I'm more happy with that colour than I was with the original, which was just called beige. Um, and to satisfy my OCD, at least with like a completely different colour, it looks like it's supposed to be a completely different colour and not like it's just like matched, like mismatched or tried to be matched but not actually matched. <laughs> so yes, that's all sorted. Um, that should come into stock in about 10 days and then they'll ring me for fitting, which gives me enough time to get the room painted, which is fabulous. But now I am off up to see my mum and Ian and my grandma. Adam is on holiday this week, lucky thing, so um, he's not up this weekend. Come on, you said you wanted to play, now you're being lazy. <laughs> yeah, thought you wanted to play. I know what to get a move in. <laughs> you playing? Oh, <laughs> she nearly pulled you over. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I'm back home now. It's turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous day. The sun's streaming in through this, uh, through the window. Um, what time is it? Twenty past three. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I was debating on whether to go and pick up the paint for the spare room or for the nursery, but I think I might do that tomorrow. Um, I've got a couple of blog posts planned, so I might sit and do those and start to put a few bits and bobs together. But um, either way, I'm going to get into my comfy clothes and settle down for the afternoon because I'm not going anywhere now. So I really hope you've enjoyed following along this week. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you do. Um, and I shall see you again next week. Bye.